Yeah, how'd you, how'd you get into you? How'd you get into filming in? Well, it was like with the crews. Well, the first one was Bald Eagle, and that was obviously like that's there for like that reason, you know. And I was just. Def I did contests as a kid, like little contests here and there, but it was never like something I knew that I wanted to do. Yeah. Never really was that into like that side of things. Yeah. So I think honestly I had like a neighborhood buddy who just would film me. And I would snowboard and just we'd just film and it all just seemed so like normal. Yeah. And then I don't remember how it happened. Maybe something with like my friends were filming for Bald Eagle and it was just like, oh I wanna try to get in there too, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I just started I think the first thing I did was with the car, I shared a part with Jonas. Nice. And then it just kind of like, once I did that, I was like, oh, maybe you should come back and film. Or even before that was like the, what was it, the rough, there's a nothing movie. It was a Cal Surf movie that okay. was like a Pat Nolary movie. Okay, awesome. Um, so yeah, that was like probably the first time. All those were like, didn't even know how to like film a part. I was just like going out and like really new to the whole thing. Yep. And then once I started filming with Bald Eagle, I knew like I wanted to keep keep trying to film for other stuff. You know? Yeah. I never thought like I'd go from like any, any day film with like, you know, people or Mac Dog or anything like that. I was just like, kept trying to film and then it just kind of worked out. That's awesome. Yeah. Now, how do you how do you arrange it with the photographers? Do they do they call you up or do you call them <laughs> up and say let's 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 just go shoot on a ride? It's a, if I find like a spot, I'll call like one of the photographers. If I need to get a photo for something, yep. I'll call them up and like try to make it happen. Or else we'll be on a trip and anytime we're on a trip, a photographer will come. Yeah. Either do a story for the magazine or because the company like. Say 32 needs an ad, mm -hmm. they'll be like, well, let's get this guy on the trip and we'll go get a photo. But now 32 has a staff photographer, which is really cool. Awesome. So he'll come on like a bunch of trips and all the photos will be just like go to 32 and stuff like that. Sweet. So no one else would really use them. Or yeah. You can get. I didn't give this stuff to magazines and stuff like that. Yeah. But for the most part, like Bob Plum is like someone who comes on a lot of video grass shoots, okay. and then Andy Wright will go on a lot of video grass shoots. East on a couple yeah. trips and. It's just like a small community, like whoever's not doing stuff, you're like, yeah, you wanna go on a trip? And yeah. they're like, sure, or I can, I'm busy, you know? Yeah. It's cool, like, it's, it works out really cool that way. Yeah, and you just, you got back, you did a whole, you did like a couple of Euro tours? Yeah. And then you're gonna do them again this year? Yeah, we're talking about doing another one, not for yeah. as long, but just another one. Okay. It's really cool, it's, it kinda sucks, it was in the middle of filming. Okay. It's, but so you can't really, in your head, you're like, well, we'll go and we'll try to like film stuff too while we're there, yeah. but it really never works out like that. You're just kind of doing signings and doing stuff like that. Yeah. But that was the first time I've ever done like a full Euro tour there, and it was mm -hmm. so fun. Yeah. It was really cool. And you've got a really, you've got a really big follow. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty rad. Oh yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I don't know why, or I just I can't explain it. I don't know. It's like the.